Hey guys, today we are going to trade using strategy based on technical analysis. And to help this technical analysis, we are going to use alligator indicator, guys. Let's look for working situations and of course, we will try to make money on them. Also guys, I'm going to start today with a very small deposit of $18 and I will try to increase this amount up to $5,000. Guys, only if you will watch this video till the end, you will figure it out how much at the end I will have on my deposit. So guys, we will try to look for working situations today on the market. Perhaps you will like it and you will try to work with alligator indicator on your own. And of course, in this video, you will learn and you will see how I choose entry points and of course, how alligator indicator will help us in it. So guys, let's get started. So in order to connect the indicator data, I click on the three dots at the top of the screen. I select the Tools tab and find the desired indicator there. As you can see, the alligator indicator has now appeared on the screen and it consists of the three sliding green, red and blue. The intersection of all three moving averages is the indicator signal. Sometimes uh, we see a clear intersection of the sliding ones as here and sometimes the sliding ones are often intertwined with each other. Let's figure it out what it depends on. Uh, for example, here we see how the price goes up with an impulse. At the same time, we see a clear intersection of, of the moving averages and the green line is located above the rest. At this intersection, you can open a deal up and as you can see, the price began to decrease further. At the same time, uh, here we again see a clear intersection of the moving averages, but this time the green line is already below the others. That is, uh, such an intersection is a sell signal. Finally, uh, when the price moves in a price corridor or sideways, the moving averages tend to often intertwine with each other and give false signals. There is the alligator indicator helps us more to determine the price movement when it moves along an uptrend uh, or downtrend. So as you can see, here we just have an intersection of the moving uh, ones and the green line goes below the rest. In such situation, we will open a deal uh, for a minute to go down because the indicator makes it clear that the price has a good potential for a decline. At the same time, we have a lot of space left until the last price minimum. Also, the main price heights on the chart are getting lower. At the same time, guys, we have recently seen a large number of impulsive red candles on the chart. So it is more likely that the price will move down in the near future. And so, guys, let's wait for the result. Well, that's great, guys. As you can see, the price is moving according to our scenario and showed us a decrease. Here we got a really good profit. Also, guys, the indicator didn't let us down and suggested us a really good entry point. The time of the transaction was also totally enough. And so, guys, um, let's continue. So here we have a good and confident uptrend. At the same time, the price is currently in correction. We are seeing a decrease in the price. At the same time, a reaction occurs near the support level and the price went up with an impulse. There's also a clear intersection of the moving averages on the indicator and the green line goes up. In such situation, we'll open a deal for two minutes up. Since uh, such an intersection of the moving averages indicates that it is more likely that in the near future, the price will continue to move up on an uptrend. As you can see, despite the rather strong downward pullback, the price was able to stay near the support level and showed a good growth. It also made us understand that the price has a good potential to increase. In this situation, I have taken two minutes to spare, taking into account that the price may still fall into the correction zone or there will be a pullback down. And so guys, let's wait for the result. Well, great guys, as you can see, the price uh, showed the good growth and it's coming to the resistance level. Here I got a really good profit. The indicator again gave us a really good entry point. Also, guys, the time of the transaction was perfect. So guys, let's continue. 
So as you can see, uh, then the price moves near the resistance level and here we observe some kind of correction. At the same time, the green sliding alligator is still located above the other lines. In such situation, we will open a deal for 2 minutes up. Because the indicator made it clear that the price has a good potential to go up. At the same time, as you can see, the price managed to update the previous price maximum. Also, we are now seeing a certain attenuation of the price, so it is more likely that the price will uh, make an upward impulse in the near future, since the general trend in the market is upward. I think uh, that the price will break through the resistance level and go higher. In this situation, I have taken 2 minutes to spare, taking into account uh, the, the possible correction maker or a pullback down. And so guys, let's wait for the result. Well, it's not bad at all. As you can see, the price failed to break through the resistance level, but at the same time our deal closed above the entry point, guys. This is where we made the profit. I suggest we will continue further. As you can see, the price uh, fails to break through the resistance level and it bounces down. At the same time, the green line has already crossed the red one on the indicator. In such situation, I will open a deal for 2 minutes to go down. As you can see, we have a certain side effect here and at the moment the price having touched the, its upper limit. It begins to decline. Uh, last time the price showed a good decrease from this border, so we can see such a decrease now. At the same time, there is still long distance to the lower border of the sideways. Uh, this is how we understand that the price has the potential to go down. Also, here we didn't see in any intersection of moving averages, guys, just because the price is moving sideways. As a rule, in a sideways situation, the indicator may be delayed. Uh, also, here we took time 2 minutes with the margin, guys. Take into account the price may fall into the correction zone and let's wait for the result. Well, guys, it's not bad at all. As you can see, the price continued to move down and here we made a profit. 2 minutes was enough for us in this situation. Now, let's see what happens in the market next. Here we already have an intersection of uh, the moving indicators, at the same time the price continued to move down. In such situation we will open a deal for 2 minutes down. I think that the price will continue its decline. You can also adjust the lower border of the sideways here. At the same time, uh, as you can see guys, so we still have a long distance to the previous price minimum. Also, the moving indicator uh, is well separated from each other. All this tells us that the price has a good potential to go down. So it is more likely that in the near future, the price will continue to move inside of the sideways. Um, and it will go down to its lower limit. In this situation, I took uh, two minutes to spare in case of the correction or price increase. And so, guys, let's wait for the result. Well, guys, it's not bad at all. As you can see, the price doesn't have time to reach the lower border of the sideways, but at the same time, it showed a slight decrease. Well, guys, we got the profit still. Uh, as you can see, the indicator gave us a really good entry point. Also, two minutes here was enough for us. And uh, meanwhile, our deposit has already increased 20 times from the original amount. I think it's amazing, guys. So let's continue. Here we have a good confident downtrend. At the same time, as you can see, the price has made a good pullback up and is currently continuing to go down. In such situation, we'll open a deal for 2 minutes down. Because as you can see earlier on the indicator, we had an intersection of the moving averages and the green line went down. At the same time, the more impulsively the price moves down, the more the alligator lines are far from each other. At the same time, as you can see here, the price met the resistance and began to move down mainly with impulsive red candles. As we understand it, guys, the price has a good potential to go down. So it is more likely that in the near future, the price will continue to move downwards on a downtrend. Also, in this situation, we took two minutes to spare, taking into account uh, the correction, guys, or roll back of the price up and so guys let's wait for the result 
Well, that's great, guys. As you can see, the price went down by impulse. Also, we got a solid profit here. The indicator didn't let us down and again and helped us with the entry point. Also, the time of the transaction was fine and let's continue, guys. All right. As we can see, the price continued to move down at the same time an upward pullback is currently taking place. And the moving indicators are still getting far from each other. In such situation, I will open a deal uh, for two minutes down. Because, as you can see, guys, uh, the green line of the delegator is also located below, below the others. Uh, we also have enough space left until the last price minimum. Um, there is, this is how we understand that the price has the potential to go down. At the same time, as you can see, the price has been moving down quite impulsively lately, while the pullbacks up are not big at all. So it is more likely that in the near future the price will continue to move downwards on a downtrend. Also, in this case, guys, I took the time with the margin, uh, just taking into account such um, uh, the correction, guys, and let's wait for the result. Okay, great guys, as you can see, the price continued to move down and I made a profit here. Uh, the indicator again suggested a good entry point, also two minutes in this situation was just perfect for us. Meanwhile, we have already uh, first thousand dollars for my deposit, guys. So we are confidently approaching our goal and let's continue, guys. So here the price is moving in an uptrend. At the same time, the price is currently in correction. And as you can see, here we have an intersection of the sliding ones and the green line uh, now located from the bottom. In such situation, we'll open a deal for two minutes down. I think that in the near future, the price will continue uh, to move down and then perhaps resume its growth. It is also possible that uh, here we'll have a price reversal and now it will move downwards in a downtrend at the same time. Uh, as you can see, since the last price maximum, the price has become an impulse to go down. Also, the indicator lines are very far from each other. All this makes it clear to us that the price has a good potential to go down. Also, in this situation, I took two minutes with the margin, taking into account possible correction or price increase. And so, guys, let's wait for the result. Well, guys, it's not bad at all. As you can see, the price continued to move down and touch the support level. At the same time, the candles on the chart have become much smaller. Our deal closed below the entry point and here we got the profit. And so, guys, let's continue and find another last deal for today. Here, the price showed the good growth, touched uh, the resistance level and made a bounce down from this level. In such situation, I was just opening a deal for two minutes to go down. Because, as you can see, guys, uh, there is an intersection of moving averages on the indicator. That is, the indicator made it clear that the price has a good potential for going down. At the same time, as you can see, the price also rebounded from this level uh, last time and showed a strong decline. So this scenario may happen again now at the same time. This time the price moved more impulsively and significantly uh, with red candles. Also, there is still a lot of space left before the minimum point on the chart. So it is more likely that the price will continue to move down in the near future. In this situation, I took the time of two minutes with the margin, taking into account the possible correction or pullback of the price up. Let's just watch the chart and see what happens in the near future. Great guys, as you can see, the price continued to move down and I made a steady profit here. The indicator here uh, gave us an excellent entry point and helped us to earn money. Also, two minutes was ideally enough in this case. And guys, just look at my balance. I have almost $5,000 on my deposit and I think this is the end of our trading session because I actually fulfill my trading plan. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and you were able to understand how alligator indicator works. It's your turn to find similar situations on the market, for example, which we had today. And also try to turn on indicator to find the situations and, of course, try to make profit on them. 
So it's super important to pay attention on the situation as a whole. Only this approach will help you to find good attract points and get the profit. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to put a big thumbs up to this video. Also subscribe to this channel. Also guys, I want to invite you into my closed group where I'm sharing my trading signals. Guys, to get into this closed group super easy, text me a code word signal. I wish you to have a successful trading sessions, of course, with a lot of profit. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.